This lesson is about magnetism. Magnetism is caused by the motion of charged particles. In a permanent magnet, like the ones that stick on your fridge, the magnetism is caused by the motion of electrons around the nucleus of each atom. In an electromagnet, like the ones that hold the doors open in the school, the magnetism is caused by the motion of electrons through a wire. There's a lot you should already know about magnets. Every magnet has two poles, a north pole and a south pole. Based on their orientation, these two magnets would attract each other. These two would repel. These two magnets would attract. And these would repel. Like poles repel each other, opposite poles attract. It is not possible for an isolated North Pole or an isolated South Pole to exist. They always come in pairs. If we take this long bar magnet and cut it in half, we get two smaller complete bar magnets, each with a North and South Pole. We can keep cutting these magnets in half and ending up with complete bar magnets with both North and South Poles until we end up with individual atoms. If this bar magnet was made of iron, we would eventually end up with a whole bunch of iron atoms, each of which is its own little magnet with a north and south pole. Just like we looked at electric fields, we also want to look at magnetic fields. The field lines in a magnetic field are based on the direction that the north pole of a compass needle would point if placed in the magnetic field. This means that magnetic field lines will point away from north poles and toward south poles. The magnetic field around a bar magnet looks like this. The magnetic field between the north pole of one magnet and the south pole of another magnet would look like this. The magnetic field between two north poles would look like this. And the magnetic field between two south poles would look like this. We can get much more complex magnetic fields than those surrounding bar magnets. For instance, the Earth has a magnetic field and it is not as simple as the ones we just saw. Think back to Earth science. You learned about topographic maps. In a topographic map, the steepest part of a hill is where the lines are closest together. In this example, it would be the south side of the hill. In the map of a magnetic field, the field is strongest where the lines are closest together. In this map of the Earth's magnetic field, you can see the lines all converge up in Canada and down near Antarctica. Those two points are the north and south magnetic poles of the Earth, and that's where the magnetic field of the Earth is the strongest.